So here's the dog going after the cars. That's what dogs do. So he uh, knocked me off there. If you looked carefully, he knocked me off, so he's gone. Put him away. So Amanda, we call this, uh, this track goes by many names. It's our old portable track from the flea market. We take it to events and stuff. Yep. Uh, but since we switched to portable tables down the basement, we really do not need a portable track. We could literally just bring our track. So this track is new name is for sale. <laughs> so for four fifty, so yeah, four hundred fifty dollars Canadian, and this is a big track as you can see. You're gonna get the app connect, which normally you have to buy separately. So it's the Bluetooth thing for your phone. Uh, you also get to pick any two one thirty twos you want. So you can go through our web page, or you can ask you to. Just give you a list or whatever you want to do, but obviously the webpage is easier. And you can pick any two 132s. If you like these, for whatever reason, these 132s we're racing with right now, uh, and you don't, for sure, for some reason, do not want them new, <laughs> you'd rather just have them broken in, you can ask for that too. So the nice thing about this track is that it's all ready for 124. Like, other than the adapter, if you just bought a 124 adapter, you can go 124. So you can see uh, everything works right on it. Uh, you're going to get two controllers. One of the They're both wired. One of the wire controllers has a wire extension. And That's what I'm using there, which gives it the, the length. Yep. So you can see these are Formula 1s are super speedy. Like, my goodness, this is a 60 FPS recording and you can just see us zooming around here that's a the nice thing about this track is that um bridge changes the elevation and so that actually adds to the challenge and the fun of this course is you have to adjust for that hill so you see us we, we tend to wipe out on the hill and there oh, that, you no that's you that keeps wiping out on the hill you know you lost this race here i don't care okay <laughs> so you'll also see my phone down there like below the control unit have it sideways so that the app connect is letting you keep track of time and there's a double crash right there like how fun is that you know what i mean like just look how big this track actually is this is literally i think this goes a little beyond the dining room and i have it pressed against the wall now if you have like if you don't have a permanent place to put this track this is probably the best track for you because, as you can see, um, it's it's large, but it, you can take it apart in chunks, so the straights can come apart. Like like instead of having to set it up piece by piece every time, because it has the borders around the turns and because of how strong the clips are underneath, you can just um, like let's say take apart the straight pieces of the bridge, but keep those turns together. So like keep the turns that are built, like, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, like a solid piece of the turn. Like the whole borders and the turns. Just attach the straight pieces from, put the straight pieces away, put the turns away, and then boom. Break it out, rebuild it. Super quick to rebuild once it's built. Uh, it'll come with the bridge supports. The bridge supports don't have the clips for under the track, and uh, do you want to guess why? Why? Because Carrera bridge supports don't work if you're using the borders. Now, thankfully, the pressure from the uh, track system is just going to keep those supports there. Like, no matter what, I've never had a problem with them. Like, I've never had the current track even shift. So that's that's super nice. This is waterproof track. Now, I wouldn't recommend, put, like, do not do not put it in water. Don't leave it underneath a leaky roof or anything, you know. But if you put a tarp over it or something, it's not going to rust. The rails are rust-proof. Like, it would be pretty beneficial for us for having it in our basement. Yeah. So, I just seriously love the way these, these Formula 1s look. And here, we're done the race. I'm going to bring this app connect right up to the phone. So, there you can see how many laps we did, the best time. Uh, the neat thing about the app connect, so, okay, we're going to go, I'm going to comment on this real quick. So, for five fifty, so if you pay an extra, an extra $100, you can upgrade to the 124s. And you can see these are night and day. So we actually prefer 124s. So I know you're taking a look at this. And you're like, wow, these are a lot slower than the Formula 1s. 
and they are. First off, I mean, oh, there you go. You've raced me so dirty in this race. People are going to see I just did how not dirty. race you dirty. Anyways, we'll talk about these 124s here. So you have to drive these things really skillfully. Like the fish tailing and stuff I did, that's for me going around that corner too fast. That's not going to happen on 132s. Not, not to that extent. Um, oh, you know, there I am. Yeah. I did a little skid. So I, you should have clipped down the uh, guide blade there because the guide blade came out. That's why I'm turning so much. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, you fix it right here. So we get that fixed and then we go. So these 124s are pretty hardy cars. You know what I mean? Like you can see a man that just completely dragged me across the edge and knocked me off again. That one was my own fault there. Like these are so, these are so much fun. So, like, I want you guys to, like, take a look at the size of this. <laughs> you can't keep up. No, I can't. I can't. We're, we're, after going from four of the ones to 124s, we're driving, like, you know, poop. But think about it this way, right? Like, the price for 450 or 550 might seem steep. But, like, look how much track you're getting. Look what you're getting. And I want you to picture getting something like a pinball table. Like, how much does a pinball table go for, Amanda? Is it at least two? Or is that... It's, like, two grand for, like, an old pinball table. It's, like, two grand. An air hockey table. How much was it that we saw? How much did it cost us? Was it going to cost us at um, Tupperman's? Oh, that was a big it was like price. It was that, like, was, that was a beauty, though. It was like two grand, right? This is professional slot car track. This is the stuff they use in Germany for clubs. And you're getting to pick whatever two cars you want. Like, the only thing... It comes with two lane changers, so that you're good for the go there, too. It comes with one single lane change that's a straight... And a double lane change. The double lane change is also straight. So that right there is just like a beautiful deal here. Like a regular uh, 124 costs like 720 to $750, like at least MSRP, at least in Canadian. 550 Pick whatever two cars you want. You know what I mean? Like brand new cars, by the way. Brand new cars. Again, if you feel like buying used cars, and trust me, you do not want these ones used because that white car... The tail fin, I have literally hot glued on the back. But hey, you know what? You want it, you ask me for it, you pay for it, there you go. So, just such cheap professional entertainment. Like, you can, if you have kids, you can slow the speed down, and you don't have to worry too much about the kids breaking anything with the speed down. Or with the dolls. This is, like, great fun with adults. This is, like, RC racing at the 124 scale, especially. You know, like, just... Change lanes, you can play defensive. Here we're trying, I'm trying to pass you by going over. You can see I skidded, but I managed to save it. And here you go, ramming me again. It's not ramming you, it's your tail, your bum keeps moving around. And what you say differently, yes, yeah, see, there I am taking it too much. You can really see the skill uh, needed for this kind of scale. So, we're having a good race here, so... You know, the first race I ended up winning, I, I beat Amanda with the Formula 1s. But as you can see, I'm just smoked here. Like, she completely defeated me here. So I hope people... Oh, see, that was such a good save again. Like, I'm just fishtailing. I'm going... I'm a man. I like to go fast. What can I say? Oh, I think that's the end of it. Oh, no, no, no. 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 I just fishtailed So it. that straight is literally like that long straight. The long straight we have. Eight straights long. Like, that is a big straight. So here you can see I'm actually able to mirror cast the uh, app to the TV. And as I'm trying to get the app in focus on the TV, uh, our home internet actually disconnected. And you need uh, internet to mirror cast. So there you can see a man that got like plus eight laps. Let me know. It must have been plus three. I don't know. It was almost plus three if I had finished one more lap. Like finish that yeah, lap, it would yeah. be plus three. So, um... Hope you guys enjoyed this little race and this little advertising for buying the track. You know, show it to your significant other or buy it if you're single. <laughs> if you're single, buy it. Mandatory. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.